Ukrainian military spokesman Andriy Lysenko has said that a blast Thursday morning in the city of Donetsk, which killed at least eight people, was the result of a mortar shot fired from a moving car within insurgent-held territory. The projectile struck a trolley bus during rush hour, sending shrapnel flying and blowing out nearby shop windows. The blast followed a night of intense fighting at the city's main airport. It coincided with diplomatic talks to end the conflict in East Ukraine involving the Ukrainian and Russian foreign ministers. According to preliminary information, the shelling was committed from a mortar that had been moving around the city by car, a so-called moving mortar. We point out that the closest positions of the anti-terrorist operation forces are located in the town of Piski. Thus, the site of the tragedy is behind the boundaries of the activities of Ukrainian artillery of such a type. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, according to BBC reports, has said that Ukrainian forces are to blame for the bus atrocity, which he described as a monstrous new crime and a coarse provocation. Meanwhile, Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said Russia should bear responsibility for the blast because the country is giving military support to the insurgents. Russian terrorists have today committed another horrible act against humanity, and responsibility for that lies on the Russian Federation. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Pavlo Klimkin described the Donetsk bus stop tragedy on Twitter as, quote, heartbreaking and said that Russia must stop terrorists who kill Ukrainian civilians. Observers from the OSCE monitoring mission in East Ukraine are carrying out an assessment at the scene of the explosion.